Hello and welcome again to the radio shop. No, it's not mailbag. <laughs> we'll leave that up for Dave. Um, what we have is a couple of packages, one from China, one from Hong Kong. And it's the part I ordered at the first of the month that finally arrived today. I just got to figure out which one is which. And hopefully it's going to be the part to fix this radio. This is a Kenwood TS-2000. And when I got the radio, I bought it Tech Special. When you connect it up, it pulls massive amount of power on power up. And after checking the radio out, I found out that the uh, one of the RF power transistors is shorted. This radio does not use the MOSFETs. It uses the... Uh, the bipolar transistors 2SC5125 from Mitsubishi and it has a dead short in it so I removed it and uh, looked around found out you know they're no longer available however there is some replacements for this radio and Oreo parts and I'll, uh, I'll link a description to them down below on where to get them but since one of my transistors were good and the other one was bad I decided to look around and see if I can find one which you know that's hard to do so I took the look and I hope I purchased a good transistor that is used from China so we're gonna have to crack it open and see if it's real or fake or if it even works. So we're going to go ahead and whack right into it and see what we got. Hmm. Some kind of little charm came with it. Interesting. Lily Electronics. Call from the general manager. Right. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. It said a sealed anti static bag. I guess these are supposed to be a refurbished transistor. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. Mm, too far. Okay. And there it is. So, let's take an older part and put it beside it. And it looks like the logo matches up. Another thing to look for is the lead, the length of the leads. And they look pretty, pretty good. The collector has a notch in both sides. So as far as the looks of the transistor, it's hard to tell. Okay, let's do a beta test on it and see what we find. So the first thing we'll do, we'll check the old one, the one that's shorted. And you can see it's showing uh, shorts from the base to the emitter and the collector to the emitter showing up as resistors so let's pop the new one on or the refurbished one and let's find out what we have
Okay. NTN has a beta of 38 forward voltage of 9 uh, 570 uh, excuse me 593 the old transistor the one that's working is in the radio has a beta of 39 and forward voltage of 570 so it's pretty close well the only way to really test it now is uh, put it inside the radio and set it and we'll see what we get we'll be back in a bit you know, I just want to show you one more test before we install it another problem with fake transistors you have to be careful of is the silk screening and the, you know even though the logo and the uh, part number and date code looks authentic another thing you can do is take a little towel with some acetone and scrub it off and as you can see this one is not affected by the acetone so it looks like original silk screen or somebody has done a fantastic job of embedding the ink into the top of the uh, IC okay we'll get this thing installed and see what it does okay got the 2SC5125 installed um, set the auto current and uh, we'll see everything looks good we on the 10 meter band let me get focus in here to the watt meter and uh, give it a go boom 100 watts okay we'll go down to 20 meters and 100 watts well I'm not going to complain <laughs> um, so I guess at this time you can ask yourself is a transistor or all a power transistor from China any good or is it fake well I guess I'll call this one good um, cost me roughly 22 bucks for this transistor and having it shipped so uh, can't beat that price and it matched out pretty good with the uh, transistor that was already in there so my tech special Kenwood TS2000 is now ready to go on the bench with the rest of my radio equipment and uh, so can I enjoy some time on the air with it anyways we'll catch you next time 73's